and welcome to the pre-lab video for the empirical formula of copper oxide, experiment 503. Today I'll be showing you a few helpful hints and um, ways that you can eliminate errors in this lab, which are very important for obtaining good results. Today you'll be dealing with hydrochloric acid, which is a very corrosive acid, and even though we'll be using a diluted form, we still want to be as careful as possible. So for this experiment, you will be determining the empirical formula for copper oxide. So it's really important for your entire lab grade that you get as accurate a result as possible. And one way to ensure that you get an accurate result is to heat the uh, copper correctly. You can see here I've heated this copper. It took about 30 to 45 minutes to completely dissolve at a low heat. So for part, after this step in the experiment, you will need to sand a zinc strip to oxidize your copper. And as you can see, precipitate will begin to form right away. This is a completely oxidized um, copper precipitate. It has turned a completely clear color. Next, you will take your zinc strip and scrape off your precipitate. Just a side note, you do not want to use a rubber policeman for this because the precipitate will stick to the rubber and you'll have a really hard time getting it off. Here we have a washed and prepared sample of copper precipitate ready for the oven. An important thing to remember is to clearly label your watch glass. One of the main things that can happen in this lab which will drastically affect your results is that someone else will take your precipitate and think it is theirs, finish their experiment and leave and you will go back to the oven, look for your precipitate and not be able to find it. That will obviously skew results and you will probably not be able to um, have the correct empirical formula for your measurements and for your results that you had originally started with. So it's really important to clearly label your watch glass. Another thing is you don't want to overwash your precipitate before you put it on this, on this wash glass because it will take longer to dry. And the drying time for this experiment is already going to be over the uh, hour it states in your lab book because everyone is impatient to leave and will be opening the lab, the oven door and the heat will escape and it will take probably an hour and a half to two hours for it to completely dry. Take your time. It's really important that it dries completely, otherwise you will have skewed results and your percent yield will not be as accurate and you will not get your correct empirical formula. Also, a, t a helpful tip for that oven situation is to put it like in the back of the oven as far away from the door as possible. I know the oven is actually really small, but it will help stabilize the temperature and hopefully your sample will dry faster. Also, don't check on it every 15 minutes because everyone else will be checking on it about every five minutes. Check on it maybe 20 minutes to even 30 minutes at the beginning because you want this um, to dry as completely as possible. You won't have to worry about um, the copper re-oxidizing because of high temperatures. 
because your TA will make sure that the oven is set on the correct setting so that it won't um, reoxidize, no matter how long you leave it in the oven. For this experiment, you'll want to put all your liquid waste in the heavy metals waste container and your solid waste in the solid waste container.